Hey friends, this video is for our kindergarten through fourth grade team for September week three. And throughout the month of September, we are learning about the life app of initiative, seeing what needs to be done and doing it. One of my favorite life apps. And our memory verse for this month, guys, you'll be so excited. I have makeup on and I'm going to work at a school today. So I actually look like a human being. Okay. Work at everything you do with all your heart. Work as if you were working for the Lord. Colossians 3.23. Great memory verse. Okay. So last week we started talking about Nehemiah rebuilding the wall. We're actually skipping week two and we're going on to week three. Nehemiah and Sanballat. And our bottom line is stay focused on what needs to be done. So last week we learned that Nehemiah's people, um, when they were taken by the Babylonians, had moved to Persia where the Babylonians were and they had been there in exile for many, many years and people had started moving back to Jerusalem. And when they got to Jerusalem, they sent word to Nehemiah who was pretty important in Persia. He was the king's cupbearer that the walls around Jerusalem were broken and basically a city without walls and was unprotected. And Nehemiah knew what needed to be done and he went and he started organizing the efforts to rebuild the wall. Well, in week three, we see how Nehemiah deals with some distractions. Not everyone liked what Nehemiah was doing. He had enemies who tried to get the people distracted from finishing the wall. But he sees through their plan and focused on the job that God gave him to finish. So our bottom line, stay focused on what needs to be done. From cleaning their rooms to finishing their homework, kids have all sorts of things that needs to be done. But it often doesn't take long for cleaning a room to become playing with the toys you're supposed to be picking up. So true in my home. We hope kids will see that focusing on the task at hand is important. God has all sorts of jobs for us to do. We can trust him to give us the focus we need to finish them. Such a great story for today. Also, I forgot to mention last week, in your Action Bibles, I do have marked the story of Nehemiah, which is so great in the Action Bible. It's the whole book of Nehemiah. So um, make sure to take a couple minutes, pray for your small group before they come in. Just pray for kids um, and that God can teach them today that they can stay focused on what they should do. When kiddos come in, greet each kid. Especially we have our kindergartners moving up. Ask where they go to school. Ask if they're excited. Get to know them. And then an interactivity that you can do is I'll have a beach ball in each room. I gave the kindergartners the tiny one and three rings, and they're going to try to get the rings around the ball. They're trying to get the rings around Saturn. The ball is like Saturn. So you can have them step back from the ball a little ways and try to hoop the rings. We're kind of talking about space all month long as it goes with initiative. So then when service starts at 9 and 11, your opening activity, you're going to ask kids to demonstrate who can pat their head with one hand while rubbing their stomach with the other. And as time allows, Challenge them to try other things. Can they move their right foot clockwise while they draw the number six with their right hand? Um, can they circle their head in one direction and their tongue in the other? Can they hold their arms straight above their head and start making big shoulder circles forward with their dominant arm and making shoulder circles forward backwards with their other arm? Can they do a thumbs up with one hand and point to it with the index finger on the other hand and then switch? And so you're going to say the problem with these challenges is that our brains can't focus on doing both activities at the same time. Well, today in large group, we're going to hear about how splitting our focus can stop initiative in its tracks. Then you'll head to large group where you will hear the story of Nehemiah and Sanballat. Sanballat's kind of the bad guy that tried to distract Nehemiah from building the wall. When you get back, um, one review activity that you can do is called Brick Sword Message. So you're going to divide your group into two teams. And in each room, I'm going to make a little path with these Velcro dots. So one team would stand at one end of the path. The other team would stand at the other end of the path. And essentially, they're going to play rock, paper, scissors. So jumping back into here, you're going to teach the kids the hand signals, just like rock, paper, scissors. Brick is rock, and it beats sword, and it's defeated by message. Sword is two, um, your first two fingers upright, the rest curled into your palm, so just like scissors. And it beats message, and it's defeated by brick, and message is your paper. So you're going to have one kid from each team, um, I'm sorry, from each side of the path, hop on one foot, one space at a time until they meet. 
Once the kids meet, you're gonna have them choose play rock, paper, scissors. You're gonna instruct the winner of the game to keep hopping toward the other side, and the other kid will run back to their team. The team who did not win will send another kid out as fast as possible to meet the oncoming winner. When the kid who won the first round has either reached the other side or has been beaten in another game, direct that team member to send another kid out. So they'll just kind of keep going back and forth. Um, the winner is the team that gets the most kids to reach the end of the path. So you're going to say, our Bible story last week told us about a big problem that was important enough to stop Nehemiah from the wall. We didn't learn about that because we skipped last week. Today we heard about a problem that was not worth Nehemiah losing focus over. Nehemiah had great initiative in solving problems and helping people, but he had no time for foolish rumors and fears. He could have been up and down those ladders every time someone handed him a new message from his enemies, but he did not. He recognized that all of the talk was a distraction from the real work of strengthening the people and their city. So have you guys ever gotten distracted by what someone else said or did? You want to be kind to your siblings, but they make a rude comment and you forget. You're working on patience, but a kid cuts in front of you and you forget. You don't have to tell me exactly what, but have you ever been distracted by what someone else said or did? See if kids have some responses. And say, it's important to remember that those life apps that we work on are worth sticking to. So when someone does or says something that makes work tough, remember, stay focused on what needs to be done. And some optional discussions for our older kids. What are some ways you might get distracted when they're doing the following things? What are some signals you could watch for that will help you know when you're distracted? And if you know that you'll be easily distracted, what can you do to remind yourself to stay focused? Then the next activity is called Space Dust. So you're going to split your um, group again into two teams. And on each side, you'll have a bucket that has some little um, filler paper and a cup. And on the other side, you'll have buckets that are empty. And so essentially, kids are gonna do a relay race. They're gonna fill their cup with some paper shreds. They're gonna try to balance it on their head, older kids without holding on, little kids while holding on. And they're going to walk it down to the other bucket and pour their contents in. So at the end, the team, um, so play until all players have had a turn, and the team with the most confetti in their buckets wins. So little kids can hold the cup on their head, Big kids, if the cup fell off, but nothing fell out, it can be picked up and put it back on the high keep walking. So this game sure took a lot of focus. I'm glad there weren't a lot of distractions. What would have been the most distracting thing that could happen to you while you played this game? Like a fire alarm going off, a stampede of elephants, somebody singing. We don't need anything like that to happen in our daily lives to get us distracted from doing what needs to be done. When you have a chore or a school assignment, what distracts you the most? Those are the times when we need to remember to stay focused. So then make it personal. Share a story about a time when you get distracted. Oh my gosh, I have a thousand. So see, everyone gets distracted at times, but that's one of the amazing things about God. He's with us all the time and he is ready and willing to help us stay focused on what needs to be done. So then for the memory verse activity, I have not made these yet, but I wanted to get the video made. I'm gonna make cups that, with the memory verse, um, a word from the memory verse on each cup and the kids are going to stack the cups in order. This says we're gonna have the kids write the memory verse on the cup. I'm just gonna already have that done for you. And they're gonna stack um, the first cup on the right side, the second cup upside down. And so they're gonna kind of make like a little pyramid with the cups, okay? Um, and you're gonna compliment them on how they're focusing on doing that and practicing their memory verse. And then finally, you're gonna close down in prayer um, review the hand signals from the brick sword message, the rock, paper, scissor thing. And then you're going to tell the group that the things Nehemiah tried to focus on were the wall and keeping his people safe, not the messages from the enemies because they were a distraction. Invite kids to come up with signals, um, hand signals that symbolize what their focus could be split by. And then have them pray silently to ask God to show them which of these things needs to be done this week and which of these things needs their focus and initiative and then close down in prayer. So that's it for this week, talking a lot about distractions, which I know is definitely crucial to our kids and us. We all have distractions in life, but it's important to stay focused and on what needs to be done. So that is it for this week, guys. Thank you for serving. You all are amazing. I love you. I'm so grateful for you, and I'll see you on Sunday.